الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه يقول المولى سبحانه وتعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا لقيتم فئة فاثبتوا واذكروا الله كثيرا لعلكم تفلحون ويقول الله سبحانه وتعالى الذين آمنوا وتطمئن قلوبهم بذكر الله ألا بذكر الله تطمئن القلوب في هاتين الآيتين يخبر الله سبحانه وتعالى عن الذكر وتأثيره على الجسم وعلى القلب خاصة على القلب وهو اطمئنان القلب عند ذكر الله وهذا هو دليل الإيمان الله سبحانه وتعالى in these two ayah mentioned something similar and addressing the same group of people believers in particular first ayah O you who believe, when you meet your enemy, be steadfast and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you may be successful. What does that mean? <coughs> it means dhikr, wadkurullah, dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a source of energy and a source of power. Meaning you become stronger when you make dhikr. And dhikr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sufficient to really have him in your mind, in your heart. He's there. He's watching you, supervising you. He's with you. He sees you. He hears you. This is dhikr. So when you are meeting the enemy, stop, be firm, don't run away. But in order for you to do this and to be successful in doing this, udhkur Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It will make you do that because it gives you peace of the heart. And why do people run away? They're scared. And when you're scared, you have no peace. You have no peace in your heart, that's why you're scared. And that's why you become coward. In the other ayah in Surah Al-Ra'd, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَتَطْمَئِنُّ قُلُوبُهُمْ بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ يَعْنِ إِطْمِئْنَانُكَ أو إِطْمِئْنَانُ قَلْبِكَ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ هُوَ دَلِيلُ إِيمَانِكَ يَعْنِ أَنْتَ مُؤْمِنْ إِذَا كَانَ قَلْبُكَ يَطْمَئِنُّ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَكَيْفَ يَحْصُلْ ذَلِكَ يعني إذا أنت هلا جالس في حلقة الذكر ومبسوط سعيد أنت مؤمن الذين آمنوا those who believe and the proof for their belief they feel content and serene when they hear the name of Allah سبحانه وتعالى when Allah سبحانه وتعالى is remembered when someone is talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you feel good. You don't want to leave. You sit. You're a believer. That's a sign that you are a believer. Amanu tatma'innu kulubuhum li dhikrillah. If your heart is not relaxed, is not serene, you don't feel comfortable when someone is talking religion, you're not a mu'min. Muslim. Qalat al-Arabu amanna. So these two ayah talk about, look, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا In Surah Al-Anfal, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا In Surah Al-Ra'd, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Same thing. إِذَا لَقِيْتُمْ فِئَا فَذْكُرُوا اللَّهِ When you meet people, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here, تَطْمَئِنُّ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ they feel content and serene when they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
And why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the other ayah wants you to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You're fighting an enemy. And what does that require? Strong heart. If you have no strong heart, you're not going to win against a fly. You're going to run. It doesn't matter how much you have. It doesn't matter how muscular you are. It doesn't matter how many people with you, with you behind you. If you're scared, you don't care. You run. That's it. And that happened in, in the Battle of Hunayn. Yani when uh, the enemy decided to bring their families and to bring their uh, belongings and everything uh, and, and make them all behind the fighters. And what's the proof? Well, when an elder man, 120 some years old, asked the leader, why you're doing this? He said, so the men will not run away because if they run away, your wife is there, your son is there, your uh, sheep, goats, cows, money, everything. You have everything there. So when you run, you lose everything. So they're not going to run. He told him, what a waste. When fear enters the heart, you would not care who's there. Maybe something like, and look what happened indeed. It was a complete loss to them. They lost everything. And it was again for the Muslims. Maybe something like this in real life makes us understand the day of judgment or relate to the day of judgment when the mother doesn't even look at her own son for one hasana, when the prophets cannot even talk to intercede and they are whom they are. When the day of judgment comes and you see the hellfire, you don't care about anyone. You just want to save yourself. Just like when you are here, scared. You don't care who's there. You just run, automatic. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told you, Udhkur Allah. Those people who constant with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they make tasbih after the salah, they make adhkar al-sabah, adhkar al-masa, they read Qur'an, they reflect in the creations, they uh, do the obligations, they do the sunan, they do all of those, your constant relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it gives you energy, it gives you power, you're not lazy. That's why the Prophet ﷺ said, the shaitan put knots in the back of your head and then when you wake up in the morning, you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you make wudu, then you make salah, and he said, you will be so fresh and so energetic in the morning. Otherwise, you will be so lazy and your self is just uh, horrible. The way you feel and the way you look and the way you talk and the way you behave. That's why Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu an when he wanted to ask the Prophet Sallallahu for help for Fatima radiallahu anha because she was so tired of crushing the wheat and all of that and her hands blistered and she needed some help. Uh, maybe the Prophet Sallallahu can find her a slave or something like that to help her, a servant. Uh, Fatima radiallahu anha went and the Prophet Sallallahu wasn't there but eventually he came. He said, shall I tell you something more beneficial and helps you more than a servant? Oh yes, of course. Say SubhanAllah 33, Alhamdulillah 33, Allahu Akbar 34. That would be better for you than a slave or a servant. You know SubhanAllah, يعني, we never think of how dhikr of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala gives help and gives strength and gives energy and gives peace and gives happiness. It's so clear in these two ayah, if you go read them. Confirmed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then indeed hearts or surely hearts find peace and serenity and happiness with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this heart is created by him subhanahu wa ta'ala 
His words relates to it directly. It affects it. That's why when, if you are alive, if you have faith, when the Quran is recited, you tremble. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهِ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ Again, dhikrullah, that's what it does to the heart. So, أَكْثِرُوا مِنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى Make sure you constantly remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Keep your faith strong and keep your healthy or your body strong and get all the help that you want simple and easy before you go to sleep subhanallah 33 alhamdulillah 33 allahu akbar 34 and inshallah you get all the help that you want jazakallahu khayran barakallahu feekum subhanakallahumma bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah